Hello friends, welcome to a new video. Today I have something cool. <clears throat> I'm going to showcase some of these protectors from Steelbook Central. Um, I figured some ways out of using it for other non-Steelbook items. But let's look at it. Um, just um, first off, I did buy some of these and Steelbook Central did send me some free of charge, but they never told me, hey, I want you to give me a good review or anything like that. So uh, they're not paying me for this. They are not going to give me any commissions or anything like that. So just wanted to put that out there. So if you click on the link, it's just going to be steelbookcentral.com. Um, I believe that is. I will leave the other links. I believe they have a eBay one and other ones. But as of right now, that is uh, I just wanted to leave that out there. Also, I do have a Patreon, so if you want to look at that link, it'll be down here. So let's look at these. We have a whole bunch of them. So we're gonna look at these and we're gonna build one. So let's get this big one out of the way. This is the Maniacs uh, box from FAC. Um, this is called the SCF. 14 you can see there maniacs box protectors uh it is focuses there it is from steelbook central and this thing is massive because the, the box is massive this this deadpool 2 box is just massive so you will say oh it looks kind of weird uh, let's see if it focuses come on focus camera well, let's see if it comes back. All right, so let's, let's hope it stays there. So it, it does have a little film that you will remove, and it will let you see like the shininess of it. You see that? So there's a protective film. Um, I'm not gonna completely take it off because I'm gonna be traveling, so I just want to protect them. Fits nice and snug. Absolutely nice and snug, nice edges, and it's it's gonna absolutely protect it. So, <clears throat> completely satisfied with this one, absolutely. So if you have a Maniac box, this actually fits on it. So let's move this puppy out of the way, and let's go on to the blue fans. This is the SCF, so Steelbook Central F. 15. Come on, focus. All right. Pack of one. And I have here Venom, which has all of it. And this one is kind of weird because it, it is going to bulge. There's no way out of this one. Because this one has a flap, a magnetic flap that opens. And that's how you get your steel books out. But once it's in the in your display on your shelf, you're not gonna notice. This one also has the little the plastic, and you can see it's gonna be super glossy. So this is very nice. So that was the SCF15 Super. All right, now let's go on to the SCF1, which is the steelbook protector, and that was the the one that I was most interested in. SCF1 steelbook protectors go on to their website you'll you'll find deals on these so I can't give you the prices because they're gonna be obviously changing they ship worldwide so right now they shipped it to Mexico they'll ship it to the US I'm moving back to the US so I'm pretty confident they'll ship to the US um, if they ship to Mexico they'll probably ship it to your country so let's look at this one I, I have different ones here so we can see it this is the uh, FAC Deadpool 2 and this is the European style that has like this cool pocket sleeve. So this is sealed with the sleeve and it fits nicely. And also, you know, it's going to have the, the little plastic. All right. We have the wheat, the predator wheat from the wheat collection. And this has a slip, a full slip. And the steelbook is in here. And it also fit it nicely. So that's a different uh, variation. 
uh, we have Die Hard Collection with the J card and it's in the plastic wrapped. So this is going to be a little bit more loose, but it's still, it's going to protect it very nicely. So here's the edge. And if you can notice, let's see which one has it. Okay, it's right here. You can barely notice. There's a, a union right there, like a line where this plastic wraps around and then this one wraps in. So you, you're going to see like a little line. You can see it a little bit better there. Let's see if I can focus a little better. Um, so you're going to have to choose. Do you want it on this side or on this side? Whichever way you're going to display your... I just put it in there so I didn't notice it. So you can see a little bit better here. You see it? there but not on this side so i'll display it on this side and then just make sure which way you're going to put it because then you have the flap that goes in here i mean you can't avoid that on these and other there's another design where it just slips in but i didn't get those and the same one here so this is the scf1 steel boat protectors all right so that's cool let's put those to the side we have here the SCF4 uh, protectors, full slip protectors. And what I have here is the, what is this? Mantelab Shape of Water, double lenticular, and it fits, the, fits it very nicely. So that is the SCF4 full slip protectors. So that's the only one I got there. Next one, SCF2 full slip protectors and what do we have here so that you can get some ideas okay so we have the mana lab shape of water which also fits it nicely and we have a uh, plain archive trained to busan or busan and what is the other movie soul station so this one fit it a little bit nicer so as you can see it's nice nice so if you have plain archive this one the s CF2 full slip protector will fit it extremely nice. That is that one. Now, let's go to this one. I believe this is meant for HD Zeta, the SCF SCF8. So you see it right there. Full slip protector. And I believe when I was reading it, it's meant for HD Zeta uh, full slip double lenticulars, I believe. So it fits, it fits it really nice, extremely nicely, okay? But I also found out that it fit my World Cinema Library Touch of Evil extremely well. And I was worried because they didn't make too many of these. And like you can see, it's 148 out of 150. So I wanted to protect this puppy and my baggies didn't work for this one. Absolutely, it fits. So Touch of Evil absolutely fits in here. So if you want to protect this one, SCF8 Full Slip Protector. Awesome. Now let's go on to the SCF11. There's a lot of SE. So cent uh, Steelbook Central. F, what if it be Full Slip? Or, I don't know. SCF11. And this is meant for the... Film Arena, the XL, the big packet that brings, you know, the steel book, a booklet, and this is just nuts. This was in my Maniacs box, so this fits very, very nice there. Look at that. This, this I think this one fits the, the best. I wasn't sure it was going to fit, but it absolutely did it. So that is the SCF11. And now we are going to build the next one. So what we are going to build is the SCF9, which is the HD Zeta protector for the one click. So you can see it here, SCF9 HD Zeta protectors. All right, so that is this puppy here. So we got the one click here and I'll show you how I build it. Uh, Steelbook Central, if you're watching and you want to correct me, uh, just email me. So what I do is I fold this one, I go around, and since they come in flat, here's the other side. I go ahead and completely crease this one, 
and now it's, it's taking shape. So let me zoom out a little bit. Since it's plastic and transparent, it's kind of hard. So the flaps, I completely bent them in right on the crease. They have like a, a marked crease. So completely bend it in. Do the other flap in. Do the other flap in. Then this little slippy thing that goes in there and grabs on completely. Then put the flap, the main flap in. Also completely bend it at the crease. Do it on the other side also. And then do it like that. So now they're completely, now you have the box. All right, so it's completely well formed. All the crease is done. Because sometimes they like bow out if they're not completely creased. And you're trying to crease it when the item is inside, it won't work. So now I take everything out, completely out. And I figure what I want. So what I do is I look at these flaps and I want my main part here. Because then I'll have one crease here, one little thing here. So I will go ahead and put in Ready Player One. All right. And there it is. So now it's completely in there. Now with this one, I'm going to take the plastic. I recommend you take the plastic off now. Why? Because it goes over the flaps too. And it's difficult once the flaps are inside. So let's take this plastic off. Flip it. Remove all of that plastic. See, it's much easier now. And it's and all the flaps are open. Sorry about the camera work. All right, plastic off. Now, here we go. Those flaps are done. Now I can easily put these guys there. There's some residual plastic there all right that flap knew where to go so good flap and there it is and this is the first one i did from the packet i got so we did it live on t on tv live on tv so there it is let's look at it now yeah it fits perfectly look at that And there it is, super shiny. And now it'll go on my display for everybody to enjoy. And it will be nicely protected. Since I have a small apartment, I get dust, I get grease. So this is the, the perfect way to protect your items. Do I recommend these? Yes, absolutely. I mean, there's no other way. I, if you, you're buying these premium ones, you might as well spend a couple more bucks and get these things. Well, that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. Please think about subscribing. Please comment. Let me know what do you think about these products. All right. Thank you very much. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.